Hello guys, welcome you all to this new and exciting video on my channel making IT simple. You must have heard of Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android. What are these? These all are the OS or operating systems. Today in this video we are going to learn about what is an operating system and what are its functions. So without wasting any time let's start the video. So what is an operating system? Let's start with the definition of operating system or OS. The definition states that an operating system is a system software, that acts as an interface between the user and the computer hardware, and controls the execution of all kinds of program. So let's simplify the definition. Why do we need the operating system as an interface or middleman between user and machine, or hardware? Hardware is more complex. We can directly interact with the hardware using machine language but it is not the effective or efficient way. Let us consider an example. Let's consider a fan. We can use the fan on different speed. This can be done directly using or manipulating the wires. But manipulating or making changes in the wiring each time is not an efficient way. But with the help of buttons or speed knob we can do it easily and efficiently. Same is the case with the hardware. In a computer we have different hardwares. There is memory, processor, input-output devices. If we say we want to interact with all these hardware directly, then we need to write a program for each of the hardware every time we need that hardware. Definitely this will not be an efficient way of doing things. So as we saw in the example as speed knob or buttons work in fan similar to that OS or operating system works. It makes the interaction of user and the hardware or the machine easy and efficient. That's the reason we use an operating system as an interface between user and hardware. Now let's take a look on goals of the operating system. First is, the operating system must be user friendly. Now what do we mean by that? It means that any user using the OS must find it easy to interact with the OS. Let's consider an example, we need to print a file and there are two operating systems, in one OS you need to type a command to execute the printing, and in another OS you just need to select the file and click a print button. People who have the knowledge about the command can select the first OS. But majority of the people will select the second OS as working with graphical user interface GUI is way more easy than typing the command. So this must be the first goal of an operating system that is it must be user friendly. Second goal is being efficient. When is the operating system efficient? Operating system must give maximum output with minimum input. Operating system must also use the resources efficiently. It should be fast and secure. Now let's take a look on the functionalities of the operating system. First is the process management, so a user will be working on number of processes so which process will be executed first? Or which process will be executed for how much time? Allocating a process to the processor or removing a process from the processor. All this is managed by the operating system. Second one is memory management. For a program or process to get executed it requires memory. The primary memory or main memory is used in here that is RAM. Random access memory. So, how much of memory to be allocated to a process? Or, when to deallocate the memory from the process? Or keeping the track of how much memory is being used and how much of memory is being free? This all is managed by the operating system. Third one is input-output device management. We connect a number of devices like keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner, headset speakers, mobiles, pen drives, external hard disks, etc. Keeping track of all devices, which process gets the device for how much time, managing the connection of these devices. All this is managed by the operating system. Fourth one is file management. A file system contains many files and directories which are well organized. Keeping track of information, location, users, status, etc. These collectively are known as file system. All this is managed by the operating system. Fifth one is network management. Nowadays every device is connected with each other in a network. Managing all network connections and devices is done by the operating system. Last one is the security management. As there are many users in a system, which user has authority to access the device or information, who is a authorized user, restricting unauthorized access or activity. This all is done by the operating system. So in today's video we saw what is an operating system? 
What are the goals and the functionalities of operating system? If you have any queries related to the topic or any suggestions, comment them down below. Share the video with your friends. And subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified for all further updates.